Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 109 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. And in this video, we will continue working on CMS pages. And uh, you have seen that in last video, we able to create uh, the CMS underscore pages table. We able to create uh, the uh, CMS controller model, uh, CMS page, oh, sorry, CMS page model and CMS controller. And we able to add uh, this uh, link in admin sidebar as well. Okay add CMS page and view CMS pages. Okay, so in this video, we are going to add the functionality for add CMS page. Okay, so let's start working on it. So uh, we are going to create the route first. Okay, so simply open uh, web.php file where you can create the route for add CMS page. Okay, so uh, here in admin panel, uh, front login, we can close. And in admin login, we need to create that route we can create at the end. Okay. Here also, we are going to create the get post route. Okay. Because uh, both the uh, both the things we require, we require get for displaying the form where the admin is going to uh, means add that new CMS page. And we require post uh, while submitting this form. Okay, so both the get and post we require, and we can add here uh, add CMS route. Okay, so this one we can add. Okay, so here route we're going to match like this match, and here we can add like get and post both okay so after adding that post we can add that link okay like this same way admin and here we can add like add cms page okay you already know that uh, we have added this add cms page here link add cms page link is already added we have added in last video so we will give this link at CMS page, add hyphen CMS hyphen page. Okay. So after adding the link, we uh, just need to require that uh, controller file, CMS controller, along with the method where we are going to add the functionality for CMS page. Add CMS page. Okay. Like this. Okay. So our route is ready and now we are going to create this add cms page in cms controller file okay so cms controller file we have already created and here we are going to add this function okay so i'm going to add public function like this okay so here i'm going to add it like this and yeah like this i'm going to add and here i'm going to add that uh okay that thing we will do later and here uh, first of all i'm going to return this to uh, the blade file that we will also create return view admin dot here we are going to create a folder like pages okay and inside pages we are going to add uh, that uh file add cms page this file we are going to create under pages okay so first of all i'm going to create this folder in the resources views okay and here in admin under admin i'm going to create this folder pages okay so after creating the pages here i'm going to create this file new file Okay, here I'm going to create add underscore CMS underscore page dot blade dot PHP file. Okay, so I can simply create this file and I can open this file here as well to see whether it has created. Yeah, it has created. Fine. Okay, so here I'm going to add the content same like we have added for add product. Okay, so we can add those same content that we have added for add product because uh, we will not write all the code again okay it will save our time then we can make changes 
I'm going to copy everything from Add Products to Add Humans page. You know that always first page will take some time to create because we need to add it from simply from SEMR, simply from template. But later on, it will not take time because uh, we have the design, we have everything. It will take less time. Okay. So here uh, we need to replace everything, products and all with the CMS pages. Okay. So here let's start. We can do one thing more. It's easier to here. Like I, I can select here and here. And you can do like this because it will save time. Okay. Control D and we can do all at once. CMS pages. Okay. Like this. And here now. Everywhere we can add his add CMS page like this, okay. So, and now we can search for the product, okay. So, uh, now we can see here under category is not required. Uh, we require the title here. We can give the title like first we will give the title of the uh, yeah, the field name is title. So we can give the title and after title, we can give the description, okay. Description as well and URL as well, okay. So yeah, first URL, then description. We can give the URL and then description, okay. So let's give it URL, okay. Yeah, URL, CMS page URL, we can simply mention here as well, CMS page URL okay here CMS page heading you can say uh, heading or title okay it's understood so color is not required description we require we can keep the description as it is okay after description this is not required at all we can this say we can just remove and after that unable is required so we can keep okay so you can see that almost our form is ready and uh, see it it took very less time and you can see some of the uh, fields uh, some of the data we need to update manually at cms page here it will come like add cms page okay and add cms page as well okay fine okay now it is fine and now we can refresh here at CMS page, okay. So you can see that CMS pages uh, is ready, and inside CMS pages, at CMS page is ready. Same like we have done with the view product. Here you can see the same thing is appearing, and here as well we can able to add this at CMS page title, CMS page URL, description enable. Okay, all these fields are also ready now. Uh, we are going to update that CMS controller function. Okay, here we are going to accept the data from the form and going to save it in CMS underscore PD stable that we have created in last video. Okay, so let's uh, do it and we are going to add here inside that function request dollar request like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make it small and make it small. Okay, so here I'm going to add uh, is method post that if data is coming in is method post, then we are going to save that data in our CMS and page table. We will add the condition here then. Okay, if dollar request, okay, like this is method is method like it should come like this is method post if data is coming in post then we are going to save this data okay so first of all we are going to print the data that data is coming fine dollar data dollar request all okay this i am going to print this data let's see whether it will come fine or not Okay, I'm going to first print uh, like about us, about us link. I can add about us. Yeah, this one and testing. 
available at single space. Okay, now all the data is going fine. We can see title about us, URL about hyphen us, description, testing, status one. So all the data is coming fine. Now we can save these details in our CMS underscore page table. Okay, so we will add the query for that and this one we can disable. Okay, now we can add this one here. Uh, we will take one like dollar CMS space, one variable like this, and then new. Then we can take like dollar CMS space model. Okay, this is our model name. We can take this model like this. New CMS code, new uh, new entry we are going to add. Okay, new record we are going to add. We will do like this. Okay, so after this, we are going to add a CMS page. Uh, you can give here like object, CMS page object. Uh, we are going to uh, add first title. Okay, title we are getting in here in this data, the data title. Here we are going to add the title. Okay, after title, we are going to add that URL. We can just keep control shift T. Okay. So that it will easily copy the URL. We are going to add the URL. Okay. After URL, we are going to add the description. Okay. So description we are going to add here. And description we are going to add. Okay. After description uh, for status uh, that we are getting uh, the status variable. And we are going to do that. If status is empty, then it will go zero. Otherwise, it will go as one. Okay. So if status is empty, you can do like this. If status is empty, like status. Okay. Then uh, you can do it like status equal to zero. As dollar status equal to one okay like this okay so this is the status uh we are going to add in cms state because in both the cases the status will be one now zero the status will go okay status will come in our table like this and after that we are going to save cms state save insert the data in cms state one certain data in cms state okay save like this and after saving uh, we are going to return the admin back to uh, that uh, CMS add page because we have not created the uh, view CMS page right now. So we can return back the user with the message, with the success message that uh, your page has been added successfully. Okay. So later on, when we are going, when we will create that view CMS uh, view page is. Uh, thing and then we can uh, redirect the user to that new CMS pages. But right now we can uh, redirect the user here only. We're going to use return redirect back. Okay. With Okay, we are we are going to get CMS page has been added successfully. Okay, so this one uh, we can do like this and for uh, for means uh, redirecting the uh, user back, uh, admin back to that CMS page uh, as in that page. Okay, so uh, we can uh, simply refresh here and we see. Uh, uh, I think we are missing something. We are missing the header statement. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking so. We missing the header statement. So for that, we need to add here uh, at the top. Okay. So I'm going to add that at the top US uh, use app uh, and here we are going to add CMS page like this. Okay. So simply we can add the header statement at the top use app slash CMS page. Okay, this one. 
and after that we are going to do that control shift r to c the cms page has been added successfully the message is coming fine here okay you can see the browse and you can see everything is coming fine uh, title about us description testing url about type on us and status is one okay and then time get and time okay so we able to add the cms page i'm going to add once again so that this time no error must come i'm going to make the table empty and we'll add it once again okay i'm going to click on add cms page and about us about us here then i'm going to add test uh, page is coming soon i'm going to add page is coming soon can right here about us page page is coming soon okay so enable and add CMS page, see here, and after adding, CMS page has been added, so CMS page has come, okay, so we can display here that CMS page has been added successfully with the link, okay, so I hope that everything is clear to you, and, and you able to create this CMS page you able to add the CMS page at your end also and in next video we are going to display the CMS page in data table we are going to display all the CMS pages and then we are going to update uh, we are going to add that update functionality as well because uh, the admin can update any of the CMS pages at any time okay so that view CMS pages functionality we will do in next video and update as well we are going to do in the next video okay so stay tuned for next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye